Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Arata's score upset for the ages with thrilling 24-21 win over Crusaders. The NSW Aratas are savoring a win for the ages after lighting up Lich Heart Oval with a rousing 24-21 Super Rugby Pacific victory over the mighty Crusaders. Key points. The Aratas turned on the razzle-dazzle, then resisted a fierce second-half buyback from the 12 times competition champions to claim their first New Zealand scalp in three years. Let us do this fast boys, Ive got a lot of beer to drink, jubilant Aratas coach Darren Coleman said at his post-match press conference. Former seven-star Dylan Peitch had a blinder, the winger bagging the game's first try in the opening minute in a dream start for the hosts. Peitch ran himself so ragged he had to be replaced with eight minutes remaining of a pulsating contest between the two great trans-Tasman rivals. Fellow winger Mark Nabuchanita Wace also crossed early as the Aratas stunned the Crusaders to lead 14-0 after only 10 minutes. Winless last season but now emerging as serious title contenders this year, the Aratas received a standing ovation at half-time, having kept the Crusaders scoreless in an enormous defensive display to complement their champagne attacking rugby. The Tars also dominated the breakdown with the tireless flankers Michael Hooper and Charlie Gamble affecting eight turnovers to the Crusaders' one. However, the Crusaders were always bound to test the Aratas' medal in the second half. On Friday, NSW captain Jake Gordon stressed the importance of having 15 players on the field at all times, after being reduced to 13 then early in last week's frustrating loss to the Chiefs. Gordon Wouldnt have been pleased to see number 8 Bunny Warren Vosayako being yellow carded for illegally holding a player up after a Crusaders penalty try early in the second stanza. Yet the Aratas held out while a man down for 10 minutes before the Crusaders' relentless pressure eventually told when Sin Havili Talachui forced his way over to cut the margin to three points on the hour mark. The Crusaders, though, Caught some of their own medicine when Hamish Diel was red carded for a dangerous tackle on Hooper, who had to leave the field in a dazed state. Then the Aratas took full advantage of their one man advantage, with a rolling more penalty try that also led to Crusaders flanker Pablo Mortra being yellow carded. Down to 13 men, and by 10 points on the scoreboard, the champion Crusaders rallied with a late try to Fletcher Newell. But the Aratas COULDNTB denied a memorable win. Only their second defeat in their past 27 clashes with Australian opposition, the Crusaders paid the full price for resting four All Blacks, including star playmaker Richie Moonga. The victory reduced young Aratas fly half Tain Eden, the son of former Balmain Tigers prop Steve Eden, to tears. I don't know what to say, honestly. Eden told Stan Sport on the very same ground on which his father made his name 30 years ago. I've got 30 friends and family up there in the stands. I love these boys. The crowd tonight was just outstanding. I can t believe it. Coleman said it was an emotional win for the entire franchise. It just keeps building momentum. We had the biggest crowd in two or three years today, he said. I think your average punter who put us on us is starting to see that we LL have a crack and we re a team worth following. We may not be perfect, but we LL keep fighting to the end, and I reckon that is all that people really want to support. AAP